Hello, it is day 131 of 365. So I've been sitting here thinking about leadership and what leadership really means to me. And throughout time, throughout all of the history books that I've read in school, the documentaries that I saw, the movies that I saw, and the great leaders that are around me now and that I've witnessed throughout my life, the ones that have really created real positive lasting change are the ones that went against the status quo, that were willing to rock the boat, the ones that were willing to walk alone and have everybody else walk in the opposite direction of them. It were the, they were the ones that had a real, really great purpose and stuck to it no matter how hard it got and saw it through to the very end and really risk themselves and risked everything that they had. And I'm not there, not yet at least. And um, I've been thinking about the leadership positions that I hold, one specifically, and I was having a little bit of like a pity party for a few moments about like, why me? Why did I have to say yes to this? Why? Couldn't I just like go on my merry way and continue on with my life and not add this into my life? Because I, it's caused me, I have allowed it, a situation to cause me some stress and upset. And so as I was having this pity party and asking myself, why me? My intuition spoke and came through me. And when I was saying, why me? The little voice of wisdom said, it's not why you, it's because it had to be you. You were made for this. This is one of the reasons why you are here. It is a gift to you. <laughs> yeah. And this reminds me of a video that I made on day 58, one of my favorites, and I titled it, Playing the Hand That I'm Dealt, like it is the hand that I wanted, like it is the hand that I asked for, like it is the reason why I'm here. And there came my own words right back to me to support me. So yeah, I'm going to play this one like it is the hand that I asked for. And I will see you later. Bye.